Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing this video. Let's see the reaction to Charlie Pink Challenges, um, Front Stars with Daddy Issues on Casual Sex by I think a lot of people, both men and women, they're kind of frustrated with the current dating mm -hmm. landscape. Do you have any thoughts on this? What's your diagnosis and any solutions? And we'll oh, yeah. go, we'll That's open a, it up. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I think people need to date with the intent to marry. Yeah, I, I'm a big critic of hookup culture in its current form. Um, I believe sex should be sacred and is sacred. And it's, it's really way, thrown away way too generously in this society and culture. Um, and I can tell you, I'm super blessed. I have the best wife in the world. We have an amazing life. Um, building a family is the coolest thing ever. And I, my prayer for all of you is that you one day can do that. It's, That's so cute. It's, um, it's honestly the most joyful thing. And I've, you know, I've had some pretty amazing experiences. I've been very, very blessed. Very lucky, you could say, but very blessed is the word I would use. And the greatest joy I've ever had is coming home to my little daughter running up to my leg. There's nothing that even comes close to it. Not flying on Air Force One, not meeting with presidents. That's all that pales in comparison to your little girl coming up and squeezing your leg. Oh. <laughs> okay, got it. Uh, does anybody else have any thoughts on that with, uh, you know? Yeah, so I just wanted to circle back because you said something that caught my attention and I disagree with it. Um, because you said something like, um, I hope all of you can like experience that and like, you said something like, I hope all of you can experience that. And I mean, I don't disagree with that. I hope we can all experience joy in life like that. That's amazing. But I just feel like I don't know why you said it that way. Like it's, maybe we're not going to experience that because we don't have the same values as you. I is that what he said? That from that. I, don't I, don't, I don't think that's, what, <laughs> I don't know. that's not the impression I got, but I'll, I'll, if Charlie wants to answer. Well, if I said it that way, I didn't mean it that way. Maybe you can tell me more about your, your line of work. What would you like to know? Um, do you think that it's going to create a, a good, happy family in the future? Um, right now I'm working on it, yeah. Me that's and good. my uh, boyfriend are doing really well in our relationship. And honestly, I think contrary to what most people would believe, I think um, being in porn has strengthened us. What, why is that? I, I, I've, I've never heard that. I'm, yeah. What, can you tell me why? So basically, like, being in porn and having sort of like this open type of relationship where you can have sex with other people, um, obviously there are certain boundaries in the relationship, but... It really makes you think about, um, you know, what's important, why you love this person, and, you know, you start to really hold things true that are deeper than just sex, and I think that on top of that, you can share sex with other people together, and that's really bonding, that's really fun. Are you ever worried that, you, you, do you ever get jealous of him if he has sex with other people? Yeah. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. So how does that strengthen your relationship? Um, because we're able to talk about it, and I think every time that I bring up a concern and he's able to soothe it and we're really able to, like, work on that bond, it just makes it stronger. Have you ever, when you were having sex, do you ever think it's more than physical? That maybe there's emotional and spiritual connections you might be introducing? No. So it's a purely physical experience? Yeah. See... For me, sex is more than physical. It's actually, that's the least part of sex for me because I get to share it with my soulmate. Mm. It's my best friend. It's definitely a big energy exchange. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a big energy exchange. And so Molly, I would ask respectfully, you know, wouldn't you want to only share that energy exchange with the person that you love most and want to have children with? Um, I think sex can exchange different types of energies. So like you can exchange an intimate type of energy or you can exchange a really passionate, like horny type of energy. You can exchange dull energy during sex. You can exchange manipulative energy during sex. Sex can be used for a wide variety of things. And I think the biggest one is like marital spiritual connection, mm -hmm. but you can't deny that there's other benefits to it as well. If you, if you could never, if you could be with your boyfriend currently, and I waved a magic wand and I said, you can make a million dollars a year and never do porn again, would you? No. <laughs> okay. Period. Okay. 
What? <laughs> Are you making more than that a year, Molly? Uh, not yet. Oh, well yeah. then, I mean, aren't you doing that? That's your profession, so I assume you're doing that to make money, correct? Yeah, 100%. Well, also but Charlie just has a magical wand. He's got, that's not a wand. Um, he's, <laughs> For he's, the sake of argument. He's right. used the wand. You can make a, a million dollars a year. Yeah. You don't have to do, uh, you know, Sounds the adult content. Way, yeah. Well, the thing is, I wouldn't have to do it. That would be great, but I would still want to do it. I am I mean, personally, like, I'm an exhibitionist. I love, like, putting my sexual self oh. out there for other people to see, for other people to... Like, you know, touch themselves to, have fun with. Huh? Can I, I love Can I ask I you a, a question? Since you're about presenting yourself to the world, <laughs> do you have a good relationship with your father? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> no, I don't talk to him. I, I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> True. See, the last part. If I can't imagine myself doing something like this, but if I ever want to do something like this, trust me. I would be disowned. Like I would have a family in my Trust me. But like this is weird because I know that a lot of people are doing your know, only fans for just to make money. And a lot of people are doing you know, adult content also to make money. But here is a golden ticket and she's thinking the why because she loves to put herself like this is something that should be you know, private. Not just for anyone, for yourself. You should be private. But you want to put yourself out there for the whole world to see. Maybe it's just me. But trust me that I'm not I'm not going to be a party to this. And I I mean from what I know about sex, I mean sex should be like, you know, an intimate, you know, it should be something that really really yeah, asking intimacy. And also, it's the energy that you know you guys share across each other. It's not just the physical, but it's kind of spiritual too. So yeah, I I don't know. Like right now, a lot of people are into the whole thing complicated. I mean, I want to see people say I'm a little bit of an open mind, open relationship is bullshit. Just when I say it's bullshit, because why would you be dating someone that you say you love? I don't want to go to marriage yet, because I'm not married, so let's do marriage matters or um, mental affairs for you know the married people. So I can say that I'm in you know the dating state. So we are going to talk about just relationship. So why would I be dating someone that I don't love and then still be happy to have an open relationship but I can sleep with anybody else? It doesn't even make sense. I mean I mean so much out there that you think make like you think it actually makes sense is making me sense to me because I do get it. I mean like if I love this person, why am I sleeping around? Because that, that's basically it. You're sleeping around. And then you use the whole open relationship to to sweeten the water and sweeten the atmosphere you're doing. You're sleeping around. That's just it. Because I know why you would be in a happy relationship with someone that you love and care about and then you are in for an open relationship. It doesn't make sense to me. But someone think about this, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be